Hey everybody, Big Daddy Sean Malloy coming to you from Patriots Landing and I hope you're doing well. Most of you know that I do quite a bit of uh, still photography and videography and I video all my hunts. And as a bow hunter, um, I'm carrying a lot of stuff in solo and it weighs quite a bit. Uh, but this is the camera that I use for videoing my hunts. It's a Sony NX uh, Cam uh, NX30U is in uniform. It's got some unique features. One, it's very small. It has some audio where you have a, a shotgun mic mounted, but you can also run um, external uh, wireless mic systems. It's got a shoe mount to put a light. Also have a link sync uh, adapter on here where I can put this on a tripod head uh, arm and then I can toggle it, move uh, the zoom in and out, do some focusing, hit the uh, start record button and a couple other features on the camera. Lightweight camera and, and that's good. It's very compact and I can uh, get that in a small um, bag and, and put it in my pack. My current uh, support for this camera that I've had for a couple years now is a Muddy Arm and a Monfrotto 500 series uh, fluid head. This fluid head weighs quite a bit but it's, it's very very uh, smooth. Um, the muddy arm extends approximately 41 inches from the tree, um, but this thing weighs seven pounds. And as you can see, it's pretty daggum bulky. And when you're trying to put this in, in a small pack, it, it, it's very difficult. And it's also getting out of that pack or unstrapping it because of its weight and its bulkiness. You clang around, it makes noise. Uh, it's great if you're going to set this up and leave it in a tree for a while, which I have done, uh, so I don't have to keep taking it uh, down, and it's, it's very durable, and that's probably what I'll use it for. But recently, uh, I was turned on to a, a company called Fourth Arrow Camera Arms, and uh, Fourth Arrow, there we go right there, Fourth Arrow uh, Camera Arms, is a company out of Michigan, so they're made in the USA, and they've got some unique uh, features. Uh, one of which, one of their features, is a fluid head that is, you know, half the size of what I've been carrying around. So, and literally half the weight. So it's 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 very nice, very sturdy. I like the build of it. Uh, this is a carbon fiber uh, arm. Uh, it extends approximately. Uh, uh, 34 inches so it's seven inches shorter than my muddy but it's very lightweight in comparison and also look at the bulkiness or lack thereof it's just a smaller package so it will go into my pack much nicer the mount for the tree is this size and because it comes into two parts you might ratchet this to the tree and then you slide this which is the actual uh, support for the, the arm down and you, you tighten it up with a screw here uh, it can be uh, packed in different parts of your backpack so it gives me more flexibility so I can keep this in the backpack keep this on the outside when I get this set reach in put this in silently uh, and then bolt it down and then put the camera arm on with the muddy this is what I'm dealing with it's it's very bulky uh, I have to use this string here to uh, hook on to the tree and then wrap my ratchet around and it's just it's just bulky and cumbersome. It's very sturdy, don't get me wrong, and I, I still love it and will use it. But for backpacking in and stuff, this is not, not very conducive. Uh, the muddy system is approximately uh, seven pounds and the fourth arrow is approximately five pounds. So I'm saving about two pounds of weight as well and getting everything in a smaller package. So I'm real excited about uh, using this new camera arm by 4th Arrow and uh, 
you know, highly recommend you check them out. Uh, they may be something you want to consider for your hunting season coming up. So, you know, the one other thing that you can do, you can buy for, an inter and this is comparable as far as price, but for $100, uh, approximately $100, you can buy three more of these. And, and it comes with a ratchet strap. And this will allow you to go ahead and uh, put these in the trees already uh, that you're going to hunt out of. So that's already mounted to the tree. So really all you're having to carry in at that point is your base and your arm with your tripod head. And, and then that will actually cut off uh, another half pound or so and also some bulk. So then you just walk up there, put this on the tree, and then slide that in and uh, mount your camera and you're ready to go. So all in all, uh, I'm going to test it out when I start getting my hunting gear out and doing some mock test runs on all of my equipment uh, in the next uh, couple weeks. And then we'll uh, see how it goes. But I just want to share it with you and it may be something you want to utilize. Okay, well, it's hot as Hades out here, so we're going to make this quick, but I just wanted to show you kind of the differences on how this looks on a tree. This is my muddy arm, and you can see it's uh, it's about seven, eight inches. It extends out further, mainly because of the base here. But what I want you to look at is the angle of the tree. Not every tree we hunt out of is a nice straight tree. So this arm would have problems on this tree because if I ask, if I unscrew this base a little bit more to try to level it out, it will actually, I won't be able to get it level before it, it actually comes out of the brace and then uh, it could fall, my camera could go to the ground. That's what's nice about uh, this fourth arrow. You see I got it on a crooked tree. All I have to do is put this mount up and then level this part of it, the base that comes with it, and then put the arm on it, and it's level. That's all there is to it, and uh, that, that makes movement in the tree a lot less, makes setup time much quicker, and because I can put it anywhere on this tree, I can get extended range on this uh, this arm, but uh, once it's set, you know, it's, it's good to go. So. It has its advantages. This has its advantages as well, but uh, for backpacking in and climbing a tree uh, into a set that you've never done, this gives you a lot of flexibility where this might give you a few limitations. Uh, the advantages I see right now uh, is, is, of course, weight. The com compactness of this system versus this system and the versatility of being able to mount any tree I want to. So um, this is really cool. And remember when I told you about if you wanted to buy the extra uh, ratchets and uh, the bases? If I were gonna hunt this tree again, I could just leave this bracket set up, take these back with me and put these in another tree that I have set up. And then when I come back and hunt, I just drop this back in there, re-level it, and I'm ready to hunt. So um, it's a great system, and I'm looking forward to, uh, to hunting with it this season. So screws down tight. Anyway, that's all there is to it. Again, thank you for visiting Patriots Landing, and uh, we'll see you in the field.